So today I'm going to show you how to construct a C to B grade paragraph about Stanley from A Streetcar Named Desire and how his character is presented in the play. So I'm going to start off with uh, one of our key phrases from the wall which is the way that Stanley. Now, I'm, And I'm going to choose something to talk about. So I'm going to choose to talk about the way that Stanley wears his clothes because I think that's, that's quite interesting and we've talked about that quite a lot. So the way that Stanley wears his clothes um, demonstrates, and that's another key word to make sure that you're you know, really analysing what he does, demonstrates his, and I could use that word animalistic that we've talked about a lot, but I'm going to use another word from the wall, which is bestial, which means the same thing. Bestial, uncontrollable nature. Now, I've got a point, but obviously I need some evidence if I'm going to get a grade um, for this paragraph, so I'm going to say in the stage directions, because that's normally where we find out about what he's wearing or what he looks like. Um, Stanley, oh, if I can get it to work right, Stanley, not Stably, Stanley is often described as being I'm put half dressed, and that's one of your quotations from your sheet. So half dressed. So, um, or with his clothing ripped. Now, because I've got a quotation for some of my evidence, I don't need to have a quotation to, to show that his clothing is ripped. We, we know that. So, I've got my evidence, and that's really good, obviously, but I need to explain it if I'm going to get a good grade. So, the clothing that is ripped, that's where I am. So, I'm going to explain that by saying, as clothes... Need obviously a capital letter at the beginning of my sentence, because I'm never going to get a grade. As clothes um, are a sign of civilization, oh, and um, one way in which humans are separated oh, from animals, the fact that. Stanley's clothes seem unable oh, to control him, or contain rather, isn't it really, not control, contain him. And I'm going to use another key phrase from the, the wall here, which is, leads the audience to believe, if I can just get this to work. Right, leads the audience to believe... Now, what does it lead us to believe? It leads us to believe that his animalistic nature... Oh, to believe that his animalistic nature will inevitably, so will definitely, and there's nothing that we can do about it, uh, come out in the action of the play. Now, at the moment, this is a strong C-grade paragraph, and, and that's really great. Obviously, that C-grade is, is what we're all working towards, but most of you have got target grades of a B-grade. So what I want to do is I want to show you a really easy way of getting it up to a B-grade. And in order to get a B, you need to show that you've got a detailed and thorough understanding of how his character is presented. And one way you can do that is to have another quote in there. So I'm going to use another phrase uh, from the wall, which is, this links to the fact... Uh, that, and then I'm going to think of another piece of evidence that would suggest that says something about Stanley's clothes and his uncontrollable nature. And I think, well, the first time that Blanche ever meets him, he takes his shirt off, doesn't it? So, the fact that the first time, to the fact that the first time he meets Blanche, which considering it's his wife's sister, is a bit weird to be taking your shirt off in front of him. Uh, Stanley, or her rather takes his shirt off as he's sweated through it, saying, be comfortable is my motto. So there we can see that I've got my other piece of evidence in there, and that's really important, isn't it? So, um, be comfortable is my motto. Obviously, I need to explain this evidence. I'm going to use another phrase from the wall. This suggests 
that his physicality, and we've, I've used that word so many times, that physicality, which means his physical self, as opposed to his intellect or his, his brain, it's his, all about his body, which is what Stanley's all about, uh, cannot be controlled. So I just need to put in there, cannot be controlled. Um, and in order to really show off, and I'm going to add in one of those uh, keywords that we've talked about, which foreshadows his rape of Blanche in scene 10. Now, so here you can see that I've gone from a C grade and now I am a secure B grade. 